Welcome to this DVD. Its purpose is to show you how your brain works so that you can be the naturally clever and smart person that you really are. Your brain is made up of tiny brain cells, often referred to as neurons. Your brain has about a hundred billion neurons. To give you an idea of its size, if every brain cell or neuron was to equal one second, then the number of neurons you would have would equal eight years and three months. Imagine counting every second of your life, both day and night, for eight years and three months. That's a lot of counting and therefore a lot of neurons and a lot of opportunity for you to be clever and smart. The trick is understanding how your brain works so that you can teach it to work for you. This is what a neuron looks like. There are many different types of neurons which do different things. For example, some look after breathing, others chewing food, others walking, or learning a language, or even riding a bike. These are just a few examples. Everything that you do comes from your brain cells or neurons. So let's now have a look at how a neuron works so that you can learn how to use its amazing power. All neurons have a cell body, which includes a nucleus. Extending out from the cell body are little branches called dendrites. These connect with other brain cells and carry information to the cell body and nucleus. The cell body then sends the information via an electrical current, similar to that of a light bulb, through a string-like cable called an axon. The axon string then sends the information out through the axon terminals to other neurons. Actions can vary in length from a fraction of a centimetre to as long as several metres, as is the case when your brain sends messages to your toes to move. The axon's terminals can have as many as 10,000 branches spread out towards the dendrites of other neurons. When an electrical impulse reaches an axon terminal, it communicates across a tiny gap called a synapse. This is referred to as synaptic firing. This is how brain cells or neurons communicate with one another. Basically what happens is, let's say for example, when you're learning to walk, a group of brain cells or neurons team up together by communicating with one another by synaptic firing. Now when you first started to walk, you probably got up and then fell down again. But after a while you learnt to walk without falling down or holding on to anything. What was happening in your brain was that a group of neurons joined together and this group of neurons then became responsible for your walking. At first, because the neurons didn't know one another very well, they were not used to working together. And because of that, you found that you could walk a little and then would fall down. As the neurons got to know one another and got used to teaming up, you found that you could walk. Those neurons through repeated contact with one another, were now known as a team of neurons and they then allowed you to walk. Now, your brain cells are very clever. Once they get used to being together, they just automatically get together so you don't have to think about the process of walking at all. All you need to think is, I would like to go from the lounge room to the bedroom and your body just does it. It is the same when you first learn to ride a bike or play a computer game. At first, you had to focus and think a lot about what you were doing. But after a while, when the brain cells got used to being together, you found that you could do it without thinking about it. Basically, everything you do, say, think and feel works like this. Now, you might think that your brain is pretty cool. But why is it that you can learn some things easily like walking and talking, but other things like some of your school subjects you find difficult? You might be asking yourself, is my brain built differently from other people? Do other people have smarter brains than me? Well, the answer is no, they don't. Your brain is powerful and amazing, and all you need to do is learn how to make it work for you. 
Now comes the important part. Every thought you have is linked to a group of neurons which form a connection with one another. So let's say, for example, you have a thought that you can't do maths or spelling. Guess what? Your brain doesn't say that's a silly thought. It just takes on everything you tell it. So if you think you can't do something, a group of neurons is going to get together and you will find yourself not being able to do it. It is also important for you to know that as you're growing up, especially in the first six years of your life, your brain cells or neurons, in an effort to grow and develop, take on lots of things that other people say. For example, someone may have said to you that you were stupid or silly. And guess what? Your neurons went to work and took that on as being true. Which it is not, because your brain is not stupid or silly. You can't be stupid or silly because your brain isn't. Your brain has a capacity of hundreds of trillions of neurons to form connections with one another. That number of connections is more than all the grains of sand on all the beaches in the entire world. That means you have the ability to learn and do anything. Remember that every time neurons join together, they provide you with the opportunity to learn and do things. So the real secret of you being able to do things lies in what you think. What you think determines how you perform. You cannot separate what you think from who you are because who you are comes from your brain. Your brain cannot work until connections are made between neurons. All that you know, all that you are, comes from the way your neurons are connected. The good news is that you can replace any team of neurons that are not allowing you to be the clever and bright person that you truly are. Remember that your life and how you live it is made up of a group of neurons or brain cells that affect what you do and how you behave. You have the ability to change any group of neurons as well as creating new groups that allow you to do amazing things. You are truly awesome and it is time to start living it.